Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the joint webinar, Creating Graphical User Interfaces for Toradex Modules with TotalCross Open Source SDK. Before we begin, I have a few tips to make your webinar experience better. This presentation, it will be recorded and available a few days after on the Toradex website. You also get it via email. The webinar tool enables uh, the participants to make questions. Therefore, you can write your questions in the tool and you can do it throughout the whole presentation. And in the end, we will host a Q&A section where your questions will be answered. We will also run a few polls. Therefore, I recommend that you stay tuned so you can vote and we better understand our customer base and provide better solutions to you in the long term. This webinar is presented by Toradex and Photocross. My name is Leonardo Vega and I am a technical marketing engineer from Toradex. And today I am with Bruno Muniz, CEO from Totocross and Italo Yeltsin, tech leader from Totocross. Before I hand over the presentation to them, I would like to say a few words about Toradex. For those of you who don't know who we are, basically we are manufacturers of ARM-based system on modules. Our main reason of existence is to make embedded computing easy for you. And as you will see in the next slides, we have several tools and a wide partner network to smooth your experience of developing your product. We also offer the lowest cost of ownership for your project throughout its life cycle. And we have industry leading support with offices located across the globe where you can have support in your local language if an office is available there and always a best answer. Toradex has a wide product portfolio and it is divided in three families, the Apalis, the Colibri, and the Birding family. And I would like to highlight Birding because it is a brand new one. It has been released in Embedded World uh, this year, a few months ago. And the first Birding module, it is equipped with the NXP i.mx8m mini processor. Therefore, it's a very good choice for your next or uh, upcoming project because Verding has the interfaces that Tradex believes are the future of embedded systems. So they are modern. We have several concepts like power gating. So you have the best uh, power to performance ratio. And it's really, really great if you haven't looked at it. Uh, I suggest that after the webinar, you reach uh, our website and have a look. Within a family, therefore inside a family, all computer modules are pin compatible, which means you could uh, have the Apalis IMX8 replacing an Apalis IMX6 without having to redesign your carrier board. And this means that uh, you can use pin compatibility to have scalable products but also to have future-proof products. Even though Teradex, when it releases a computer module, it commits to providing this computer module for more than 10 years. Our customers are usually from industrial automation and healthcare, uh, but we also have a very strong presence in other markets, such as laboratory, test and measurement, retail and ticketing, transportation and smart city. The volumes uh, of our customers range from 100 to 50,000 uh, units per year. And that means that Toradex is a very good fit for low to medium range uh, projects. And a few slides ago, I've talked about making embedded computing easy. And Toradex has Torizon, which is an easy to use industrial Linux software platform. The real idea here is that we have a platform that you can use to go faster to market. That is enabled 
by the fact that we provide a Docker runtime and OTA capabilities. Therefore, you can build your apps very fast. You don't need to do custom Yocto builds. Uh, Horizon itself is built with Yocto, but it is meant to be used as a, a binary distribution. It's open source, therefore you could build it if you wanted to. So you are safe, you can do your modifications as, as you want to. And by providing uh, an OTA system, we allow you to also be secure. Therefore, you can always push the latest security updates and among other nice factors. And uh, another point nice about Horizon on the easy of use side is that we provide strong ID integration with both Visual Studio on Windows and Visual Studio Code on Windows and, and Linux. Before I hand over to Photocross, I would like to say that I'm really enjoying to collaborating with them and working with them closely because they, they are great, they are very responsive and they are very competent in what they are doing. And something that really uh, got my attention while uh, understanding their solution better is that they have small footprint and native performance, therefore they are very aligned with our business of embedded systems where resources are constrained. Even if you don't need the performance, you want to save power. So that was very good. I think they they align very well with the Teradex uh, strategy in regards to making their customers' life easier. Uh, I don't want to, to give you spoilers, but uh, Totogross has a very, very cool ID integration, and you will see it throughout the webinar. Therefore, now I would like to hand over the presentation to Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Hi, hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? My name is Bruno. I'm really glad to have you here today. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Uh, as, as Leo told us, Totogross is an open source key creator. But why? We are bringing here a GUI creator for you because we know uh, it's really hard to build GUI applications. It's a tough job, especially if you're using a low level programming language like C, C++. And also there are a lot of performance concerns to build the, the app. And generally the results are really old concepts of UI, UX far from the great experience that people already got used to, especially with mobile applications. And the question is, how can you provide the same UX that people already got used to uh, for embedded software, for embedded solutions? And a short poll for you, uh, what user experience are you delivering in your embedded solutions today? Uh, please vote just to, to let us know if you are really satisfied with your uh, user experience that you are delivering or or not we have uh, a few seconds so you can answer thank you guys thanks for answering so 50 percent um, are using modern design like responsive with mobile experience and the other 50 uh, are deploying old-fashioned ui uh, similar to Windows application, and this is really common. So half of our our people here are deploying this. This is what we're going to show today: how to deploy a better, a great user experience for your clients, for your users. So I'm introducing Totocross. Totocross is an SDK to help you to help developers to build GUI applications for embedded mobile everything. So basically, you can write your code just once and you can run in every major operating system like Linux ARM, Linux, Android, iOS, so basically all the major operating systems. And Totocross is divided in two main components. First, we have a really easy to use API. So there is no specific knowledge required to build applications. Uh, we're going to see, Italo is going to show you how to create applications. It's really easy. And also, we have a virtual machine that guarantees the native performance, the portability between all operating systems. 
in the low footprint. So for the Linux ARM, the virtual machine has only five megabytes. An entire application will have 10 megabytes, 10 to 12. So it's, it's a nice footprint for this kind of device. Uh, and just another question to you. Uh, what do you think is, is most relevant when you choose a GUI creation framework? If performance is the big issue, programming language, easy to use in documentation, pricing, and ecosystem and community. Just a few more seconds. Thanks for voting, guys. So performance and easy to use. Okay, nice. We're going to talk a little bit more about performance and how we can guarantee the performance on the device here. But how does Total Cross work? So as I said, we have an API. It's a Java API. So you're going to write your code in Java or Kotlin. Uh, Total Cross will convert your byte code to our own byte code. Uh, we don't run anything from Java on the device. The virtual machine, it's from Total Cross, the byte code also. And Total Cross make a package with everything inside, like byte code, the assets, the virtual machine, the SQLite, everything. And then you can deliver to Windows CE, Android, Linux ARM, uh, Horizon, Linux desktop, Windows desktop, iOS, and more devices. So, and as I said, we don't use anything from Java on the device. And the last question, Guys, do you still have GUI uh, projects for Windows CE? This is quick. Awesome. So most people already migrate to Linux or other platforms. Okay. So how can you guarantee the performance of our virtual machine? Uh, our virtual machine is completely different from Java's virtual machine. Uh, it was designed to guarantee the performance, especially for low-end devices with really low computing power. We're gonna show this in the next slides. And comparing the two virtual machines, we can see some different approaches on the execution of the operations. So Java virtual machine is a stack-based. That means that uh, it's more simple to be implemented and also more readable, but it has a cost in the runtime. In this example, that I want to do a simple math operation with two variables and set the value to the third variable, it needs four instructions to run it. So Total Cross will use only one instruction to make the same operation, reading the two variables and setting the third one. But this is a simple example to show how we can provide real performance on the device. And talking about Teradex, Teradex are great partners. We are fully integrated with their modules. You can build Total Cross application from IMX6 ULL without GPU to IMX8 running Horizon. So we support all the modules. Also, we are creating demo images for Horizon and Yocto. Uh, so you will be able to test on your devices. And we're gonna show today a little bit about these demos. And uh, the images will be available at Teradex Ease Installer in the next month. Also, we have a lot of new features coming in our roadmap, and all the versions that we release are tested first on Teradex modules. And talking a little bit about our integration with Horizon, uh, Leonardo already, already said a little bit about Horizon. Uh, it's a Yocto-based project. It provides a Docker environment, which makes it possible to run containerized applications. So there are a lot of features like over-the-air updates. Uh, and in order to run a Total Cross application, it's super easy. We just need a container with some libraries like libgpiod, libewayland, and libfontconfig, and another container running a Western server, which is a Wayland compositor. And as I said, we're gonna release a Horizon container to make it more easy to deliver apps for Horizon. Now is show time. Let's see what we can do with Total Cross. Italo, can you show us? Hello, everyone. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys uh, how to create a new application using Total Cross. You can use any idea of your preference. 
like Eclipse or IntelliJ. But it's easier to use VS Code because we already have a plugin for it. So to install the plugin, we just have to click on the marketplace on the VS Code and search for Torocross and install this uh, its extension. Uh, as you can see, we have a description and we have some requirements to install. So we have to install Java DDK 8, uh, Maven, and the Microsoft Java extension plugin for VS Code. So it's very easy to do it. We have all explained it in our website. Now getting started uh, for each operating system. So now we are going to use the extension to create a new project. So you have to type, uh, you have to use the shortcut command shift P or control shift P for window to open the command palette of uh, the VS code and type Torocross. So we have some features, you can create a new project. You can package your application and you can deploy and run to your device, especially for Linux on devices via SSH. So before uh, using these features, you have to register on your account. account. So you can do it, uh, only provide some information like your name, uh, your email, your password, and the country where you live. So after registering, you can log in your account. Now I'm going to log my account. And as you can see, building request. And now we are able to create a new project. So let's create a new project. We just have to create a new folder for the project. In this case, a folder folder webinar app. Select. So here we're gonna type our group ID, which is usually the domain of the company backwards. The name of the application, webinar app. and choose the latest version of the Torocross SDK. And now we have some platforms that you can deploy to, uh, many, many platforms, but for now we are only interested in using Linux ARM. So space to select it and enter to proceed. And this is our project project in structure. So here we have two classes, Java classes. Uh, the first one is for running uh, your application on our simulator. And the second one is the entry point of your application. So let's run on the simulator. It can take uh, a little bit of time to compile the whole project. So while it's doing this, but this is only for the first time. The, the next buildings will be faster. So it's already running here. And that's it. As you can see by the full, uh the the simulator opens with the screen resolution of a smartphone but you can change it you can change the run configurations in here you just have to add the parameter slash scr which stands for screen 
and like your resolution. Save it and let's run again the application the simulator. As you can see, it's running the correct resolution. That's the application with a more embedded like resolution. So let's see uh, the entry point of the application, which is a class that extends the main window. And the class has the same name of your app. So here we, you can set the UI style. Uh, in this case, you are using the material design made by Google. And, but you can, you can also uh, use other styles like the flat UI, which is a lighter style. So the components, you, you have this style. Uh, this is how we are adding this label uh, on the, the screen. So this is how to create a name and add it to the center of the screen. It's pretty easy. So now we are going to place a button on the screen. I'll call it button and control space to so complete. I'm choosing the button of text. So this text will be displayed on the button. And now I'm going to add this button to the screen. We provide a lot of constants to make it easy uh, to place your button on the screen. Uh, we, you can use it for horizontal positioning, left, center, and right. So for now I'm using right. And for vertical, Positioning, you can use bottom, center, and top. And we can also use relative positioning, like I'm going to use after. And we can also add a margin between, I'm going to use 15 pixels. So, what is going on here is that you are, we are going to add this button. 15 pixels after the last button added. And let's run it on the simulator. And as you can see, I want to place it right after the, the label hello world, uh, about 15 pixels, exactly 15 pixels. So now we are able to package our application. So command shift P, type total cross and choose package. The process of packaging your application is where uh, you convert, you compile the Java code into Java bytecode. And then we convert this bytecode to our own bytecode and package it uh, into folder or the, the specific package for the platform you are deploying to. So as you can see, it takes some time and the files were written to the this folder, target, install, and the folder representing your platform, the platform you are deploying to. So here we have some TCG files uh the the exit table with the same name of your, your application name and we have the libtc vm uh, and now we are going to deploy this application command shift p to the toradex device i have here 
So we deploy and run, type the root user to the root user, uh, and the host IP. Beautiful. Show right. how to adjust the component on the screen. Oh, all right. So before, uh, I'm, I, I forgot to show you how to resize the, the, the component. So by default, the component comes with the, the preferred uh, size, which makes this button resize according to, to the text placed. So we can change it. You, you also provide a lot of constants to make it easy to, to change the size of the button. Uh, you can use, for example, fill for fill the space between two components, for example. Uh, you can also use parent size, which makes this component has the same width in this case as uh, its parent. Uh, this is very useful because uh, this makes easy to make responsive applications. You can use this on any uh, screen size. It will be adapted. Uh, for example, I'm going to make our company button the same size of its parent. Uh, eight percent of its parent in terms of weighted. So I'm going to run it in the simulator. And that's it. This is the button with eight percent of the wave depth of the parent size, which is the screen. So now I'm going to package again to update my information. Takes a little bit of time. Mm. That's it. The files were written to the folder. So now I'm going to deploy the application to the device. We already saved the IP and user. And I just have to type the password. And by default, the, the folder which we are going to deploy it is has the same name of the app. So I'm going to do it now, right now. And now I'm going to show you the, the application running on the device. So just switching the camera. And that uh, uh, is a Toradex Carryboard uh, Aster with the module IMX6 DL with uh, 512 megabytes of memory. We are running the Torocross Yocto image on this device. Uh, and now I'm going to show you the application running, running on the screen. This is our application. I'm going to click on the button, my button. This is the same application that we're running on the simulator. So now this is a very simple application. Uh, you can do a lot, lot more. Uh, you can do, and you can do more complex 
applications in terms of graphics. So now I'm going to show you an application made for the embedded reward. This is a simple application. And as you can see, it has the same structure, initial structure. I'm going to run it on the device, on the simulator right now. Takes a little bit of time. It's processing. Uh, this is an application made for the embedded world. All the, the components using this application were made from the scratch. If you, even if you don't want to use our existing components, it's pretty easy to, to make new components. As you can see, all these components were made from the, from the scratch. Um, Now this unit is going to run. As I, as I told you at the first time, it takes a little bit of time, but the next buildings, it's more, it's faster. So this is the application running on the, the simulator. As you can see, we made this charge from the scratch and this component. Uh, this application also had transitions. And put the screen. Uh, in addition to graphical components, our API provides APIs for communication and data storage. You can use the SQLite on your application, use a total cross. And also uh, we provide uh, APIs for reading XML, JSON, and to communication to SOAP and HTTP. And now, I'm going to run this application on my Horizon device I have here. I'm switching the network cable to do it. Now I'm going to explain how it works. As Bruno told you, uh, we have a docker file describing our container application you just have to install libfont config it's really easy right uh, you don't have to install libgprd lib because it's already comes comes with uh, the debian for arm, arm devices uh, also we have a docker compose file so this docker compose file Okay, so it's the required required uh, containers to run the application on Horizon. So this is uh, the Western server, and then you can run the the container through cross app. So, uh, I'm going to open an instance of the terminal. I'm going to to copy this uh, Docker Compose to inside uh, our Torres device via SSH. To the root of the user. And now I'm going to access the SSH, the Torizon device.
And now you just have to dock it, compose up, detach it, and as you can see, it's the Western server has started, and now you are able to run our container. You just have to run this command. You you don't have to be worried about uh, these comments because we have a repository explaining everything. You can use this repository as base to your product. If you would you like to run the application with Horizon, so total total cross Horizon, and this is a readme explain all the process you have to do to run the application on the horizon using Torocross. And all the, these cones are here. And so back to the, the screen, I'm going to run the application. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you the application running on the device. I'm switching the camera. And that's the application. That's the the, the carryboard Xora with the module Apalis IMX H uh, with four gigabytes of run. This is the last one released by Tordex. And this is our application. As you can see, it's the very same application that was running uh, on the device, on the simulator, with even more detailed graphics, as you can see. And now I'm handing back the presentation to Bruno, so he can explain uh, a little bit about our new tool, no code. Thanks, Italo. So, uh, thanks for, for showing us uh, some features. And as Italo said, you can create uh, the applications uh, right in the code, responsive applications with native performance. Uh, we are working in a new technology, is in alpha right now. So basically, you will be able to draw all the UI using Android Studio, using Android XML and run it directly on Linux ARM with Photocross. So in this example, we have a small launcher with a menu with some transitions. Uh, we made three different screens here just to show you how you can create this using Android XML. So let's take a look in the simulator, how it looked like. And then I'm, I'm going to explain the, the source code so you can take a look. So uh, I'm running that Android XML here in my simulator with transitions, with all the screens that I, that I draw. Our idea is to make it easier for, uh, for developers to create applications for embedded devices using the most common tool in the market, Android Studio. And also we want to enable Android developers to deliver apps also for embedded. So let's take a look to the source code here of this application. You can see it's really easy to make this. We just need to load the XML. We have an API to do it. So we can load the XML here and we can change a lot of uh, things on the, the XML. Like here, we are adding a press listener to make the transitions to go to, to the other screen. But also we can change the text. We can change colors. We have a lot of different things we can do with the XML including add new components. So this is all running in the, the runtime. We are parsing the XML in the runtime and we can have 
a really nice performance with this. Let's show this running on the IMX6 uh, DL now. So this is the IMX6 again, DL. Uh, let's run the same application. Uh, this application was already, was already deployed on the device because we already show how to do it. So you can, we can see how fluid it is to, to run the application, uh, the transitions, and we had a lot of different uh, aspects that we can add here on this uh, application. So if you want to know more about this new technology, we're gonna release our alpha version. If you want to test or contribute, uh, just let us know. We, this technology will also be open source uh, in our GitHub. So if you want to know more, just let us know. A little bit about our history. Uh, we started in 2002 with a different technology, Super Waba. It was uh, created to run on Palm and on Windows CE. In 2007, we started to build a Total Cross virtual machine to run in, in a device like this. A Palm Trail with only 32 megabytes of run uh, in a CPU of 312 megahertz. That's why we can guarantee real performance on the device. The VM was designed to run in really low footprint uh, devices. And also in 2019, we released our SDK for embedded devices. A little bit about our numbers. We have developers, clients using in more than 10 countries, more than 100,000 uh, devices running Total Cross applications, like Alluvian. Alluvian is a US client. They created a bomb detection app and they switched to the US government. So uh, today, all the, the major US agencies use his software. The US Homeland Security using Linux and Windows. Uh, the NYPD using an iPad. The soldiers using a tough pad from Panasonic. Uh, they, he's running really complex algorithms, machine learning algorithms with a data set of more than 1 million records offline on the device. And he chooses because of two main aspects. First, the performance. He can run these complex alg algorithms offline on the device uh, to detect possible bombs. And also because the portability. He can run in more than four different operation systems, the exactly same algorithms. This is really important for him. Also, we have a, a false business model. So the technology is open source. You can take a look at our GitHub. We are using the LGPL v2.1. So there's no need to open source your code. There are also no runtime fees, no limitations. And as a revenue model, we have a support subscription for companies and developers that need support. Also, we have a commercial license with some features like uh, cryptography for SQLite. Uh, we cannot open source this cryptography, it's not ours. And also we provide services like training, integrations and more. And next year we're gonna launch our marketplace of components. If you want to know more about our technology, we can uh, find us at GitHub and also GitLab. Uh, and we have a Telegram community to discuss technology, to discuss about embedded systems and more. Our vision is to make software development fast and easy for every device in the planet. And if you are looking to provide a great UX for your next embedded project, let us know. Definitely, we can help you with this. And um, I'm really glad to, to answer if you have any questions. Thank you very much, Bruno. Thank you very much, Italo. Uh, it was great to see uh, more about Sotocross, how does it work, and to actually see it running on the devices. And as the webinar went, I've got a few questions. I will try to read them sequentially in the order they were submitted. And the first one here is, do you need Java from Oracle, or does it work with a free Java implementation also? Oh, you yes, can use you can run OpenJDK. OpenJDK is fine. 
Uh, we okay. can use Java on the device. So the Java is just a programming language. So you can use OpenJDK or any other. It's just to, to help you to compile it. Okay, so just in your development computer. Yes. Okay. And Thank also, you. as, as Kitalus said, you can use any operating system to, to create the app, like Windows, Linux, Mac, and also any IDE. We choose VS Code for a plugin because it's the most common and it's really light. But you can use Eclipse, IntelliJ, or any other. Okay, actually, this was the second question. Like, someone asked what IDE to, to use. So, uh, you say that you have integration with VS Code via the plugin. With the other IDEs, do you have some kind of integration already, or these uh, request per customer? Yes, Total Cross is different from the other platforms. Uh, uh, the, the other platforms, they have a, a huge uh, data you need to download. Total Cross is only a 100 uh, megabytes package, so it's super light. You can use it with Eclipse, IntelliJ, or any other uh, IDE. We choose, we don't have an integration with Eclipse and in, in IntelliJ, but as is a library, you can use this in any, any, any IDE. We choose VS Code because it's really light and is the most common, so that's why we, we and also because Horizon has a integration with VS Code. <laughs> okay, cool. Even if you, you want to use other IDE, you, uh, we are about to release a CLI two, so you can create a new project with this this uh, CLI two, and you just have to open the the folder with the the other ID like IntelliJ or or Eclipse, and it will be recognized as a Java project. Okay, thank you very much. The next question is. What is Horizon exactly? And basically, uh, Horizon is an embedded Linux platform, and it, its core uh, is an, a Yocto based uh, distribution that is meant to be used as a binary distribution by customers. Therefore, Toradex builds it and the customers use it. And this is possible uh, because of, of the Docker engine. And just let me quickly open here the Horizon page on the Toradex website to, to illustrate better the architecture. So basically, you have the bootloader, then you have the Linux kernel and the container runtime, and you just develop your containerized apps. And this, this is the main advantage. You can deploy your applications very fast, uh, and you don't have to rebuild uh, Yocto images, which takes time. And we know that it is a task that has also a steep learning curve, for instance. So you're much more flexible you have a better out-of-the-box experience, and you have an image that is ready to be deployed in production. So, uh, different from a Yocto-based image, where you, the customer, needs to make sure it's good for production, on Horizon, Toradex uh, does that for you, which greatly simplifies your development in many ways. Uh, and if you still have, have questions, you can read through the Horizon page, when you have more time, we will also forward some links uh, in a follow-up email, so you, you'll be able to find plenty of information, including a recorded webinar about Horizon, if you are really interested uh, in diving deep, which I recommend. Um, the next question here is, as you used login to Total Cross in VS Code, is development only possible while still online? No, 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 no. You just need to log in once, and then uh, you you don't need to check it. Of course, uh, from time to time, it's it's checking if you if the login is valid or not. But you can. Uh, it's there's a period of time. You can. Uh, uh, 
develop your application without internet. Okay, thank you. And the next question is, do developer need to have Java skills? Uh, in our last embedded project, uh, our client, he, he doesn't have any Java skills. He was a C uh, developer and he made it by himself, the application, the entire application. Uh, so we don't use the entire Java. Uh, we use just a subset of Java. As I said, it's just the, the programming language. So I don't think people need programming skills with Java, uh, but you can try it and give us a feedback. <laughs> Our okay. ideas make it easier and easier to create applications for embedded. Yeah, and uh, this question came before you you showed the Android Studio integration, which makes it easier even to create your UI without without coding, right? Yes. Okay, thanks. The next question here is an interesting one. I think you answered a few minutes ago, but I will read it anyway. Uh, if I develop an app in Linux ARM, and now I want to run it on Android, will I have to make any changes besides choosing the OS while starting the project? In short, does the source code remain the same? Awesome. That's an ex excellent question. If you, if you are using Photocross to build your Linux ARM application, the only thing that you need to do to deploy it to Android is to run one parameter in the package. You just need to add one parameter in the package and then you are good to go to run on Android. You don't need to change anything. Not only Android, but also Windows CE, Windows Desktop, iOS, uh, so all the, the operating systems. It's just one parameter in, the, in, in your package. Yeah, you, okay. you just have to, to configure a file called pom.xml. There you can add the, the, these parameters to, to deploy to other applications. Or, or you can choose the other platforms when you are creating a new project. Can I, okay. can I show my screen really, really short? Really? Yes, please. Uh, let's switch to you. Okay. Just to show you how, how you can do this. In this example of Toradex that I show you, you just need to, uh, to add this argument here, minus Android. If you want to deploy on Linux ARM, you just need to add this parameter, minus, minus Linux ARM, and you're good to go. So there's nothing you need to change on the application. In the entire Ooh. source code. Yes, this looks awesome. Very easy. Uh, thank you. I will read the next question. While Java may be fine for a user interface, some parts of an application may still require external bindings like C++ or libraries like OpenCV. How is this done? Awesome. Great question. Yes, we have a native interface, so you can add your C, C++ libraries to Totocross. Uh, of course, we know there are a lot of people that work with external libraries, so we already did this external uh, uh, interface. So you can add external okay. libraries. Thank you very much. And let me see. I have a question here. Uh, Without support for touch screen? Uh, what? Sorry? Uh, what about the support for touch screens? Yes, we support touch screens. As we came from the, the mobile development, we support touch screen from the beginning. Uh, and uh, we, we test with displays with Toradex, with Toradex, so no worries about it. This is uh, really, really nice. And one, one really nice thing is that when, as we came from the mobile side, all the application is responsive. All the tests that we, that we do inside with Toradex 
is using a small display and a big screen like a 4K. So all the application is responsive if you follow our guidelines of development. Okay, nice. Thank you. Let me check for another question here. Uh, this one I can answer shortly. Uh, will you make available a record of this session? Yes, it will be available on Teradex website in a few days and also broadcasted to all people who subscribed uh, via email. Uh, next question here. Is it possible to integrate C++ source code? I think it was already answered. Next question. If I want to create a proof of concept, where can I purchase Toradex devices? Uh, this one, uh, you can buy directly from the Toradex website, depending on which country or region you're located. For instance, in uh, Asia and Japan, we, we also have uh, some distributors. Therefore, uh, you can always send an email to us. It's really easy to find in our main website and we can help you. And if your region, uh, if you're located in Europe or the US, you can buy directly from our website. And another question, uh, Toradex and Totocross are two separate companies. Uh, yes, Toradex is a company focused on building the, the hardware. We, we are in the market for more than 15 years. And Toradex is, is another company. Bruno, maybe you want to, to just give an overview of Totocross? Oh, yes. We are, we are more focused in the software part. And I think Toradex is it's more focused in the hardware and to provide like easy to use uh, integrations with Linux like Horizon. So, and we are more focused to help you to build the application. Thank you. And yes, uh, the next question, is the Totopra solution already integrated with Toradex Horizon? Yes, we are integrated. You can take a look at our uh, GitHub. There is the a short uh, doc how to to run Totocross with Horizon, and as we show here, we're gonna release a Toradex a Horizon container in a few days. Uh, it's fully integrated. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, still about the the native interface. The question is. Is the native interface the known GNI, JNI? Uh, yes, we, we call it TCNI because as we don't use Java <laughs> on the device, we have our own name. But it's, it's, it's kind of similar, similar to JNI. Okay. Um... We also have a, a native uh, uh, interface to access the database. Uh, it's similar to JDBC, but it's TCDBC <laughs> to access the SQLite on the device. SQLite is also coming embedded with Photographs. Okay, interesting. And I have another question. I'm not sure. I totally understand. Probably you guys uh, can give a better answer here. What is the SDK and the contract expiration date? Uh, the SDK is the number of the SDK that you are using. And uh, the contract expiration day is just uh, uh, when you, you log in, uh, the, the plugin will check another time uh, if it's valid or not. So it have a, an expiration date. It's the next time that the plugin will, will ask for the login. Okay. Uh, another question here. Uh, this person is making several questions and he provided his name. Uh, his name is Kavi. And he's 
other question is, can you also share any sample examples application in Git? Uh, yes, we have a lot of samples at Git, especially GitHub. If you access github.com slash totalcross, even this uh, application, all this application that we showed today, it's there. I can okay. uh, I can get your email and send you directly. Okay, uh, we will add the link to Total Cross GitHub in a follow-up email where we you will also get the link for the webinar rec recording and and more information as well, such as how to get in contact with Total Cross. Um, This is a question probably for both companies. Uh, do you have an all in needed starter kits? And on the hardware side, I can answer. Basically from our web shop, you can buy uh, from one unit, uh, the computer module carrier board and if you want a seven or 10 inch touchscreen display uh, where you can use for evaluation. If you don't need the, the touchscreen display, you can only buy the computer module and the carrier board and attach them to, to an HDMI screen or to a VGA screen such as Total Cross guys did in the examples on the webinar and you can select a wide range of performance. Therefore, uh, from Toradex, this is this is all you need. And we also have a carrier bar accessory kit, which is the power supply, the the USB to serial converter, and some cables. Therefore, you don't need to buy things from other places. So. We don't have an all in needed single click buy option, but you can buy everything you need to start from the Teradex website. And with regards to Totocross, Bruno, uh, to get started, what what do you need? Uh, what what I recommend to get started, just access totocross.com. You you're gonna see a, a button getting started and you are good to go. You can follow the instructions using VS Code or uh, using any other IDE. It's okay, really, thanks. really easy to, to get started. Okay. And another question. Does Totocross include components for media playback and web browser? Oh, all right. Uh, we don't provide browser inside the, the application but you are able to call an external application to open the, in the browser. Okay, and media playback, can you play a video? Or yeah, we, we have a component uh, that you can, for example, uh, take the, the, the stream or video and, and update this component it's it's a, a, a an image control so we just have to to time by time uh, update the frames that's it okay thank you very much and this was actually the last question therefore i would like to thank everyone for watching the, the webinar and for being very interactive. I would like to also thank Total Cross for the effort of uh, working together with us to create this nice integration and partnership. Yes, thanks everybody for attending the webinar. We are really glad to, to have you here today. Also, thanks Starbucks for this amazing opportunity to show our integrated solution uh, worldwide. It's, it's really awesome, this partnership. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.